It is the first of a new month, and that means we have some Diamond Choice Packs. Yo, what's going on, Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again, and welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, we have two Diamond Choice Packs to open from pre-ordering the game back when, before it came out, and uh, we're hoping we can get some good luck and get some good pulls here, because um, I, I need coins, I'll be honest with you guys. So before we go and open up the uh, packs that we do have, uh, I thought I'd show you the content first. So we got an 87 Primetime Tarasenko, uh, Demko, Orlov, Tanev, Janssen, Kerfoot, that's about it in terms of prime times. We have these out, Steen, Patterson, Zabinajad, uh, Ekman Larson, Timothy Lilligren, um, and then we got the 22 and under 22 cards, uh, Hughes, Lafreniere, Drysdale, all those guys. And uh, that's about it. So uh, this random team of the week, we got a 93 team of the week, McDavid out, 89 Stamkos, 88 Fleury, 87 Carlson, 86 Kaprizov. We got some pretty good team of the week cards out as well. And that's about it. So uh, we have three in open packs. We got two of the Diamond Choice packs and one of uh, one premium uh, gold player packs. So we're going to open up this first, 180 plus overall. We get an 81 Alex Tuck, all right? That's fine. Hey, we will take the 80 plus. Now we got Diamond Choice Packs. You guys know what these are. We select 10 players over five rounds. All players in this pack are 80 overall or higher. So come on, EA, give me something good. I think last month when I opened these, I did not pull anything good at all. So we're hoping today it's going to be a different story. Jake DeBros, the man who just requested a trade from Boston, he wants out. We got Wayne Simmons, prime time, okay. Uh, Evgeny Dadanov and Yaroslav Halak. So we'll take Dadanov and the Wayne Train. Why not? Second round out of five here. Cal Peterson, uh, Nicholas Baxter at an 83, Morgan Riley, and a Ethan Bear. So we'll take Riley and Mr. Nicholas Backstrom. I want to see a purple pull. Like I said last month, I don't think we got a purple, purple pull. Uh, Rasmus Dahlin, he had an 86 out last week for the 22 and under 22 cards. Uh, Batherson. Ryan Strom and an 83 Caden Gooley. So we'll take Gooley and uh, Darleen. Why not? Um, we'll take the 83 pluses. Um, round four to five. Let me see that purple tint, please. Uh, or a power up icon. I've yet to pull a power up icon this year. So let's see. Last card, Philip Zadina. So we'll go Zadina and Sergachev. Last round here. Man, this pack has been a dud. It's been such a bad pack. Uh, Clayton Keller, uh, Kirby Doc. Oh my goodness. We get an 85 Jonathan Huberto. That's not bad. We'll take Huberto. But other than that, man, what a lackluster Diamond Choice pack, man. You think they would be better. You think they'd be a little bit better. 83, so we got what? One, two, three 83s and 185. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about that. All right. Last and final Diamond Choice pack. And then I'm going to show you guys my team because since my last team build video, um, my team has gotten insanely better like insanely better so here we go first round david riddick uh brandon sod uh valtteri filpula and swayman so we'll take uh riddick and uh brandon sod there uh second round johnny goudreau who has an 85 team of the week out feels bad blake coleman uh malcolm suban and tanner Pier uh, pearson so we'll go coleman and goudreau three out of five I want an 86 plus here. Come on, game. Matthew Barzell in 84. That's not bad. We'll take a Matty Barzell. Uh, 85 Connor Geeky. Not too bad. And some, some icon there. So we'll take Geeky and Matt Barzell. Don't mind if I do. Uh, fourth round out of five here. Okay. Lars Eller. Radim, Radic Fasca. Riley Smith. And a Johansson. So we'll take Johansson and Smith. Last round here. Bless me, EA. Please. I beg. I beg. Give me something big here. Jason Spezza, we do love our Jason Spezza. Jonathan Taze, Jonathan Bernier, and Corey Perry. So we're gonna go Bernier and Taze, man. What, what, what rough packs, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Not one purple pull. We pulled a bunch of 85s, which is nice, but uh, yeah, not not ideal. The good things about the 83 pluses is, is I can make collectibles for the 22 and under cards I have, which I'm gonna show you guys my team right now. Now, like I said, huge upgrade since the last time we checked. So looking at the brand new first line, we got Jack Eichel, Quinn, and Byfield, and we put Matthews on the wing. Uh, Byfield, eventually I'm going to upgrade him to a 92. This card looks unreal at a 92, man, especially with the synergies he has activated. It's really nice. 
Second line, we had Ovi, newly upgraded Matt Sundin at an 88, and uh, Alex Turcott, who I really do enjoy. I think we're going to get him up to a 92 before Quinton Byfield, especially because we're one off a of protector. That would definitely help him out. So, um, yeah, uh, huge fan of Ovi, huge fan of Sundin, and I really do like Turcott. Uh, this third line, uh, I picked up X Factor Marner uh, for 110k. I want to say eventually we're gonna upgrade him to an 88. Um, I love his 88 card on the Monopoly Hut series, so I can only imagine how good this one's gonna be. It's gonna be the same thing. So we got him playing alongside Kessler and Connor McDavid, which eventually I want to get his X Factor. And then on the fourth line, we get David Pasternak, who uh, we can get up an extra overall. Just costs us collectibles. Uh, Chris Draper and then Leon Drysettle is a guy I'd love to get up eventually. We need two uh, collectibles until we can get him up to an 88 there to get his base. And then he can go up to a 90 eventually, which is very nice. So our forward core is looking really good, man. I I'm a huge fan of it. On defense here, we got Adam Foote still playing with Ulf Samuelson. That nothing's changed there. Second pair, we got Victor Hedman and... Um, Kale McCarr, couldn't think of his name for a second. And then our last pairing here, John Carlson, we were finally able to get him up to an 85. We can get him up to an 87 eventually. And then we did get Boom Byram. I ended up making him. I heard he's one of the best defensemen and I needed a left-handed D-man. So uh, I think he will get up to a 92 before both Turcotte and Byfield get up to a 92, but not too shabby. And then in that, we're still rocking Robin Lehner and Michael Simpson. Uh, looking at our synergies, we have uh, Spark Activated, Bombarded, Fly the Zone, Heart and Soul, one off Magician, one off Protector, and a couple off Applesauce and Well-Rounded. So uh, I'm a huge fan of this team. I, I really enjoy playing with them. Um, unfortunately, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Um, packs were lackluster. We're gonna make some collectibles, upgrade my uh, under 22 cards, which is perfect for me I, i'll definitely take that uh but guys that is it for today's video uh sorry for the shorter type of video but like i said it it is what it is um if you guys did enjoy be sure to drop a like on it if you guys are new around here make sure to subscribe button down below we upload three times a week on the channel um and i'd like to think uh it's some decent content but like i said guys that is it for today's video thank you guys very much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later peace